Good morning. Wow, got some rain last night. Snow in the mountains. Mount Shasta right now. Isn't that awesome? God, I love these. these live cameras, I'm telling you. This is Alert California, San Diego State, or San Diego uh, University. And it's got live cameras everywhere. And that is Mount Shasta. One of my, I think it's, I mean, how bitching is it when you're driving up through Redding and Dunsmere? You know what I'm talking about. And all of a sudden there, it unfolds. When you're going north up to Wairika or Ashland or Bend, then you see that for the first time. I don't care. I've, I grew up, I used to ski on that mountain on the old ski lift back in the 60s. Um, we drive up from Paradise. But you ne it's like the Golden Gate Bridge. You never get tired of it. So here's the thing, and we're gonna do weather. We're gonna talk, okay, first thing we're gonna talk about is the rain, how much rain we got, snow in the mountains, more coming, and so in, the, in the oceans, kind of gnarly right now, big tides and, and big swell. But it, it's funny when you, when people, a lot of people that don't live here, don't, you know, they, I live here for 10 years, ah, oh, I was in California, I hate it, I can't stand it, I can't, the people or, or uh, the prices are, uh, behold. Jesus, I mean, that's Mount Shasta. Oh, and then I can drive over the coast to um, to you know, Del Norte or into Crescent City, go surf, go crab fish, and then I can drive south down to San Francisco and go mountain biking, or I can mountain bike up. I can ski, I can surf, I can. Are you kidding me? Go, dude, roll. Go to Austin. I know Austin's actually really cool. Go to Boulder. Boulder's actually really cool, but go. You don't belong here if you don't get it. And I'm not just saying because Mount Shasta rocks, Mount Whitney rocks, Lone Pine rocks, Malibu rocks. I know, I know it's busy, it's expensive, but California, <laughs> bet on, if, like one of the kids at work bought a house the other day and they busted his behind to get that, the money for that house. And he was kind of worried because, oh, the, the lead news story was people are leaving California. And I'm like, dude, dude, always bet on California. Always bet on California. That is my investment advice to you. That is Elon Musk, see you, brother. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, NVIDIA, oh, okay, yeah, we're okay. Uh, you get it. Okay, so, wow. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Mount Shasta, beautiful. This is this morning. This is actually about uh, 11 o'clock this morning. I know, sorry about the pole in the way, but isn't that stunning? Like, if I could have a picture of my house right now of that, even with the pole, <laughs> I'd take it. All right, so uh, let's see, look at the, the satellite imagery. This is the system that went through. We did get rain last night, it was awesome. Good rain too, like quarter inch, half inch, inch. A little more than I thought. I thought it was gonna be quarter inch to half inch, but a couple places got an inch up in the Marin County area. So here's the secondary wave that comes through this afternoon. So the morning commute was kind of wet. Tomorrow, tonight, there'll be some scattered showers in the afternoon. This will drop snow levels further. Snow levels in the Sierra, about 5,000 feet right now. Um, the snow will continue on and off right through Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, Sunday morning. So here are the rain accumulations. I think I'm gonna come in close. Uh, see, they get smaller. Okay, so, well, there's San Rafael at 0.87. Uh, Nevada, almost an inch. Marin County, the Marin County watershed, over an inch and a half. And this is because, okay, see the, see the uh, headlands, Marin headlands? See how they face a little south? See how San Francisco faces kind of due west? Yeah, it faces a little south. And I gotta tell you, man, the south winds come in. This is a south wind. It comes in like that. It comes in from the south. It hits those hills, hits the Mount Tamalpais area, hits that watershed. That's why Muir Woods is where it is. I mean, those areas just make it rain, and they do to the tune of almost double the rainfall in the course of, well, in this area with a two-tenths of an inch of rain, which is maybe 12 miles away and over an inch and a half here. San Francisco came in at nearly three-quarters of an inch. That's awesome. This, see, when you see a number like that, that's 7.37 at the airport. You, you just go anomalous, right? You got to kind of throw out numbers. These are not always accurate, these rainfalls, but 0.7 in the East Bay Hills. So a half inch, an inch of rain, pretty awesome. In the uh, ocean, it's gnarly. Uh, it's not that big right now. The swell came down a little, but we know that those king tides this weekend are going to jack on the mor in the mornings, and we're going to have big swell. And you just, I'm not even going to couch this anymore. Don't go in the ocean. Don't go fishing in the ocean on the rocks. Just don't, don't, don't. Wait till things calm down. 
um, if you're going to, to do that. And if you're a surfer, and I know everybody thinks you're a badass surfer these days, but you know who you are. There's only a few people the next couple of days that belong in the ocean. And there's places you can surf. Like you can go up to Bolinas and get inside the cove there, and then you're fine. But I'm talking about Mavericks. I'm talking about, um, uh, I'm talking about Mavericks. I'm talking about, you know, uh, Point Arena, places like that where you, you gotta be really, really fit and you've gotta be ready for it. And a lot of folks aren't, and just don't go. Just don't go. Grandpa Bill just said, don't go. I'm not, well, I am gonna go, but I got a spot that is protected from the, from the giant waves because I want nothing to do with that. Okay, uh, here's the model. This is the GFS, this is rainfall. And here we are, 12, well, 15Z, which is essentially, you know, in the morning, mid, early morning, mid-morning, uh, this morning, that system goes through. And then you see that secondary wave. So this is, that's today. And then Friday is drippy, drippy, drippy. And then right around Friday night, Saturday morning, that happens. And that's Saturday mid-morning. Saturday's gonna be wet. And then it clears out pretty quickly in the afternoon. So Saturday afternoon, late, not bad, but it's gonna be Saturday storm a little more juicy than today. So today's we had a half inch, let's call it, for the average was a half inch. Friday storm, or sat, Friday night, Saturday, Saturday's event mainly, will be an inch, so almost double what we just got. And in the mountains, that'll be the same thing. They'll get 16 inches of snow, perhaps. And then we kind of dry out a little bit. And then that next system comes in somewhere around Monday and just is real light, no big deal. And then the models kind of go dry after that, which is interesting because they hadn't before. So we'll see. Um, and we'll just watch the models. King Vale, uh, I, probably chaining up lower down, I would suspect. And if they're, yeah, they probably were anyway. Um, I'm not going to say what they're doing right now because they're going to be going, chains are going to be going up and down for the next uh, two to three days, actually, because that system on Saturday is really going to unload um, low snow levels, you know, down around 5,000 feet. Here it's snowing up at the pass, Castle Peak, uh, eastbound 80. And what can you pick out there? You can, anytime you can see the snow coming down, that's, that's snowing pretty good. Um, and then here's another model. Let's take a look at this. This is that last one we looked at. They look similar, the color schemes, but last one we looked at was the GFS precip. This is the um, North American model. I refer to it as the NAM. And a circle around our area. You see the system go through this morning. And then here we are. Let's see where we are. There we are third, this afternoon. And see that secondary wave coming in out over Marin, right? Let's see if I can get to pop right there. So that's, that's right on the afternoon commute. So maybe some scattered showers on the afternoon commute. Friday, see how the models kind of agree. Here, Friday's kind of a drippy day. Like drippy meaning, kind of like it is outside right now. And then you get a bit of a break. Snow levels come up on Friday because you can see that southerly flow of wind and of air. And then you see, this is Saturday morning. So overnight Friday into Saturday, we get into it. And that's Saturday system, which I think will have about twice the pop that to this morning's did, which is perfect. And then it moves through on Saturday afternoon. That's Saturday in, at four or five in the afternoon. And then you get that break. And then I see what it does with that Monday thing. Kind of, it doesn't go out that far. That's right. North American doesn't have as long a run. Um, and then this is, let's see what we got here. This is the globe. So what did we talk about? We talked about surf. We talked about the rain. We talked about the snow. All beneficial. Is this an atmospheric river? Yeah, it's ridiculous what's happening with, 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 um, with everything in the internet, everybody, you know, it's like you're, you're trying to get people to watch your stuff. So when people say atmospheric river, you know, you get a lot of clicks. Non-atmospheric river, based on the definition that I was taught in, in atmospheric science, it's not, it, it, there might be components of an atmospheric river, which could be construed as some tropical moisture getting in trend. Because sure, there's some moisture from the lower latitudes getting pulled in. The Saturday event especially, but I think you got to, you got to, atmospheric river, remember that one that went through a month ago? Yeah, it's an atmospheric river. Just a straight line of moisture going from west to east, lined up, a lot of mid-latitude fetch to it, not a lot of cold air. You're not seeing snow levels down to 5,000 feet. You're seeing snow levels around 6,000 feet. Um, so anyway, that's it. The five-day forecast is up. Have a great weekend. I think, uh, I think basically Saturday afternoon after like three o'clock, game on. I mean, you know, it's not going to be, it's going to be wet on the ground, but dry from the sky. Sunday is your best day on the weekend. Good, but this is beneficial rain we're getting, beneficial snow we're getting. It's awesome. And the Malibu fire thing, they're going to get a little bit of rain down there, as you know, or at least some cooler, moister air, and that helps them a lot too. All right. I hope that wasn't too long. 
We will, I got so many things I want to talk about, but yeah, not today. I'll see you back here.